G'day and welcome to this third video on doing the cam setup and machining for your F1 in schools car. Now you should have watched the previous two videos which went through importing the um, manufacturing file into Fusion 360 here as well as modifying your car body um, as you can see in this image on the side here in the um, in the data panel where my uh, full car body with the wheels and grommets removed has the speed on the front end there. Now at this point you can see that I've put in that car body into the manufacturing sample file which has the fixture at the front here, the speed at the back and the balsa block as well as all the other information needed for the machining of the F1 in schools car. Um, right now I'm in the cam uh, workspace instead of the modeling workspace so we've moved on from modeling and I'm now in the cam workspace um, and all my cam setups are complete um, as you should have done in the previous videos so making sure that the car was selected etc as the model and it's all ready to roll. Now when you get to this point here um, the next most important task is to simulate the entire cam to make sure there's no collisions and no issues with the cam program. To do this it's quite simple um, all we do is select the top here where it says Setups in the browser tree on the left here. We right click that and we click the Simulate button. Now when you first come into this you'll need to have a look at the data panel here to get the correct um, setup. So for the toolpath you need to have the mode in Tail. And for the stock we want the stock on with that tick there. And preferably um, just to make sure that everything goes well, we'll put on stop on collision. That way we can see if there is any issue that might stop the um, process of machining the car. Once you've done that, that can go off to one side and you'll need to hit the play button here. So we'll start the simulation from that and you can see it's gone ahead and drilled the two holes and then it should start the machining. And in my case there, I do have a collision and we're going to need to check that collision and see if it's you know, a major problem or not. So I'm just going to change my angle to the bottom left here to see where that collision is. And I think that collision by the look of it is simply because it's come in too quickly onto the material. So I'm not too concerned about that. It's not colliding with any of the fixtures at all. It just means that at the very start of the machining, after those two holes drill, I'll need to reduce the feed rate as the bit comes in for the first time. Uh, now that we know that, that's a you know pretty minor issue. Um, we'll hit play again and just see what happens next. Oop. Go to next operation. There we go. Oop. Yeah, we should be able to play again now. There we go. So you can see there we go. It started to machine the car there, and this particular stage is doing the 45 degree machining um, and machining out the back end of the car there and we'll just so that this doesn't take too long we will speed up the simulation here we've got the speed just down the bottom here and I'm just going to drag that all the way up almost to the fast as it will go just to see how well it machines out the car so it's going through the entire left hand side at the moment as you can see, mine may look a little different to yours. I've set mine to a 45 degree machine instead of a parallel machine, and we may or may not do this for your car as well. So it's going through there. It's got to the front of the car. I'm just going to slow it down. And that's the two drilling cycles. And again, so a small collision there due to the feed rate as it comes into the side of the car for the first time. Uh, it's gone a little bit further, and we'll continue on now. So just the, that tiny collision there, which again isn't a major issue at all in this case. If we had, regardless of this, when you go through this process for your car, we will check for those sorts of collisions and make sure there's no major issues. So that's going to go through and do the opposite side of the car. I'll just speed this up. There we go. So that's looking pretty good, it's just machining that out quite well. And moving from the back of the car back to the front now. Set the front there. 
and there we go, that's the machining done. Now at this point here you can have a zoom in and just have a look at the, what the surface finish will look like. Um, and you can see in my case it was a little bit ridged, uh, but not, not to the point where we couldn't easily sand that back and end up with quite a nice looking car. So happy with that, we've watched the simulation, happy with the finish. We know there are two collisions, but they're not major collisions and we can simply reduce the feed rate as those start on the milling machine. Now that we know that's all fine, um, we're going to go through the post-processing steps. So I'm just going to press, press close on that simulation. Come up to the actions part on the uh, toolbar ribbon up here. And I'm going to select setup sheet firstly. Now setup sheet, um, it will just open up to select a folder. You might as well select your home student folder. I'll select my desktop in this case and set, hit select folder. Now it's saying multiple setups with different WCS settings have been selected and that's fine. So our post process needs to be customised in this case. So we're happy with that and we'll hit OK. Alright, and that'll output this in, and it should open it up in Google Chrome for you. If that happens, that's great. What you need to do is print that file. Um, so press print and go and get it from the printer so that we can finish off your setup. As you can see, there's different operations here. We have the two drilling operations and the two parallel left and right sides. So this just means we can check this, make sure um, everything goes right, and we can also see an estimated cycle time for the entire milling cycle. So that's great, happy with all that. So you'll need to print that. And back in the software here, we now need to hit the post process button. So this allows us to actually get the code we need for the CNC milling machine. The next thing we need to do in the left hand side here, we've got the post configuration where we need to select our machine. In our case, it is a Denford, so Denford.cps in the menu here. We'll just select that one there and click the post button. And that will export it and it'll give you a file name with probably something like 1001, like that one there. Please rename that, this as your team car. So for me, it's going to be my first car, Mr. Ellison, for you it may it should be your team name and then your two uh, team members' names. Um, and then hit save on that. Once you hit save on that, it should open that up in a program or it will ask to open it up. Your computer may open up in this thing called brackets, otherwise it might open up um, in a separate piece of software. Either way, at this point now, we do need to add in uh, just a couple of extra steps into the code to make sure it machines correctly. Now the first one needs to become just before the first drill 2. So drill 2 is the first machining job that's happening which is happening on the left hand side of the car and we need to turn the uh, block for our car to make sure that it drills through in the correct position. So we're just going to go just before drill 2 here and press enter there, so we've got a new line. We're going to enter a line that says G28 space Z10. That will move our tool piece, which is doing the cutting, up by 10 millimeters. And then we need to go to A90, which twists our block around so that we can access the left hand side for the first bit of the process. Next, we're just going to do a find in this um, code for the second drill 2. So type in drill 2. And oops, drill two being one word, and we'll skip forward to the next one. There we go. So I get drill two space two, and just above it there, you can see the G zero Z forty seven point five. So that's the last step before it. We're going to hit enter again before the drill two, and we're going to add in another line again, which says G twenty eight capital G zero G twenty eight space Z10, that will move our tool piece 10 millimeters on the Z axis, which is away from the car itself. And we'll go space A270. Benefit here being that if we add in that A270, it's going to take us back, uh, to, sorry, it's going to swivel the car around to the right hand side, ready for the right hand side machining. All right, so we need to do that before that second drill too. And at the very end, we scroll to the very bottom of our code, Okay, you can see that here, very bottom of the code, and we're going to add in one extra thing here, which is to 
move our block back to the zero axis um, so that it is the top is upwards in the machine. So just that this line here where it says G28X0, Y0, we're going to go space A0, then we'll hit enter and add in G28 space A0, just to be sure that we are at A0. And that's all we need to add into our code. So once you've done that, you'll just need to save that particular code. So hit save. Um, in your case, it may not open up in this piece of software called brackets. It may open up in Notepad. Um, but once you've made those edits, you're ready to take it to the machine. You'll need to um, get that to me as your teacher via the submissions drive. There's a folder available for you. All right, thanks for watching the video. Um, and I hope this was helpful. We we'll look forward to machining your car.